YouTube, what is going down, man? I am back at y'all boys again with another video, man. And look, we know what today is, well, the day I'm recording this video, but I think I'm gonna put this video out tomorrow, man. So we know what yesterday was, man. Yesterday was a big day when it came to information for NBA 2K20, a big day for the community, man. It was community day, man. And they invited a lot of content creators out there. The content creators gave us a lot of information that the devs probably thought wasn't important. But as content creators, they know what we want to hear. They know what we are looking for, and they know what we want to see. Now, there was a lot of information, man, and honestly, it was really easy to get lost. And maybe, potentially, you may be one of those people that you don't even use Twitter at all as a platform. You are completely out of the loop, man. I'm going to have several videos breaking down some of the things that we've seen, some of the things that we now know because of Community Day. And today, in this dedicated video, we're going to talk about the new takeover in bad system that they added into NBA 2K20, man. Now, like I said, if you haven't been following Twitter, this is a lot of information that you don't know about. So let's just dive straight into this thing. Now, in Community Day, when people first went out there, obviously, the first thing that you are going to do when you're out there is you have to create the build to play with. Now, the 2K devs have been teasing for a long time that this year they're going to try to possibly give us more freedom to create that kind of player that you want to make and it's going to be way less structured than it was because we know with archetypes they wanted players to basically pick a player be limited in your role you're dominant in whatever your player does but you're limited in every other categories now we all know that was completely false because everybody can shoot locks are absolutely gimme gorgons you know what i'm saying locks can do whatever they need to do on a court unstoppable so what they thought was going to happen and what actually happened was completely different right but the whole premise of the archetype system was to limit players from doing absolutely any and everything on the court and to try to have it more of a realistic style of basketball where players know their roles and they try to fit it. Well, they heard the community, they heard that a lot of people are actually tired of being so limited. And then they started to tease that this year we would have more freedom. And now the community day has came, now we know what they meant. So for number one, the first thing that we learned is that when you dive into the character creation, you will now be able to select which badges your build has. Now, we know in the past, right, every build had dedicated badges to go with that build. So if you picked a sharp, you knew you were gonna get catch and shoot in some form, limitless, you know what I'm saying, corner specialist, things like that. Well, this year is completely different because we are gonna be able to pick which badges you're gonna use for your player. There is no more structure like we had in the past. And my mind started to race, I was like, yo, it's gonna go crazy. Everybody's just gonna instantly run for this badge and that badge and this badge. But later on, we came to find out, yes, you can pick your badges, but it's gonna be limited based off which attributes that you have upgraded on your character. So if you didn't put anything on your three-point shooting, from the field of badges that you're gonna be able to pick from, from what I am assuming and from what I have gathered, you won't see any shooting badges like that. And maybe potentially if you do see them, I'm guessing that those badges will possibly only be bronze. Now, we know bronze badges are kind of important in 2K as well because if you got bronze corner specials, it makes a difference between having bronze and not having it at all. So that was major news by itself. And that honestly is worthy of a video itself. But then later on, we found out that picking badges isn't going to be the only thing that we pick. Look, you are also going to be able to decide which takeover you're going to have on your player. And immediately, immediately, once I heard that, my mind started to race and I was like, yo, this is going to break the game. Because I kind of got hyped for it. I like the idea of picking your takeover. Once I heard this, I kind of got nervous. I was like, yo, you're going to have rim protectors with the goddamn sharpshooter takeover. You're going to have locks with the post score take up. We already know locks love to put you in the post and they love to go in the paint like they slashes. So imagine a lockdown with the post score takeover. Look, I immediately was like, yo, this sounds like a good idea, but it's gonna break the game. But then later on, we found out you will now be able to pick your takeovers, but it's also based on the same way that they did for badges. It's structured, right? It's freedom with it. You have the freedom to select badges, but it's way more structured than I honestly thought for the first time. So you get the freedom to select which takeover you want, but it's structured so they don't have things that don't make sense. So the takeovers that you're gonna be able to select from it's gonna be based off of the attributes that you have on your player, the exact same way that it is for badges. Like we said with badges, you won't really be able to get shooting badges because you don't have those things added up on your player, right? 
That's gonna be the same way for the takeover. You won't be able to get a sharpshooter takeover if you're rim protected and you don't have anything on your three pointer. And that's from what we've gathered. That's from what multiple people have said. You can't go absolutely crazy with this thing. It's basically gonna be, you're gonna get takeovers based on how your player has the potential to actually play. And now for me, I'm a visual person. Now, look, if you tell me something, that's cool, but I would much rather to see a picture on how it actually looks on how the actual screen looks when it's time to pick takeover. And that's when this leaked image right here drops. I know y'all boys seen it in the thumbnail. Hopefully I made a decent thumbnail, but I know y'all boys seen it in the thumbnail. This is the selection screen when you're going to pick which takeover you're going to pick for your character. Now, one more important thing that I gotta say before I actually dive into this screenshot because this is a important screenshot. But one more important thing that I have to say, there is no longer dual takeover in the game. From what we heard, there is no longer dual takeover. So you will only have one takeover, basically like if you had a pure playmaker or a pure sharp or a pure bill or pure archetype, whatever. Last year, you only had one takeover. That's how it's gonna be no matter what your build is. So you could be a whatever, whatever, but you're only gonna have one version of the takeover. Now, there was leaked footage of Anthony Davis and he definitely had a dual takeover. So that's kind of confusing to me. I'm wondering, is it later on down the road that we maybe potentially be able to unlock dual takeover again? But most likely, my mind is really telling me that may only be something that NBA players can get because we know that the NBA players and our my players are two separate entities. They got they work by their own rules and the my players work by their own rules. So if you are confused, don't feel like you are alone. Based on the people that came out to Community Day, they said that there is no longer dual takeover in the game. Now let's go to the screenshot because in the screenshot, as you can see, this is definitely a guard or maybe even a small forward. He's at the screen. He's gone through the process of picking his attributes. He's gone through the process of picking his badges from what I know of. And now you're at the screen when it's time to pick your takeover. So now, as you can see, this character right here, he has the potential of getting a shot creator's takeover, a slasher's takeover, or the playmaker's takeover. Now, once you pick your takeover, once you pick your takeover, that's not the end all be all. You can switch your takeover at any point when you want to not in the middle of games obviously because that's gonna be absolutely od like that's not even gonna make no sense but from what i've gathered on a game by game basis you can change your takeover whenever you want to change it so let's say for an example you feel like the sharpshooter takeover is not serving you right you can get off the spot and if you have the potential of getting a sharpshooter takeover and a lock takeover, if you feel like your team need a little more defense, you can change that sharpshooter takeover into a lock takeover and it'll change the whole dynamic of your player. You know what I'm saying? So chat, I wanna know, what do you guys think about this move? Do you think this is a major move or do you think that 2K is doing absolutely too much with this stuff right here, man? Now, this to me is like, this is game changing because like the homie Ken said in one of my videos, you're gonna see way more people walking around with phones in their hands, scouting people. How are you going to know who's in front of you? Once you get on that spot and you see the person in front of you, you may see the title of that player all around guard or whatever. How will you know what badges he has? Like this completely changes, not only just the part, this changes pro-am. Like I'm not a pro-am dude, right? I understand pro-am, walk on, whatever. That's a whole different world. But how will you know which player to leave open in that corner when you don't even know, bro could have corner specialists. You know what I'm saying? How will we know who we have in front of us? That's absolutely crazy. And how will we know what takeover this player has? One more thing about takeover that I need to let you boys know. From what we gathered, they said that the takeover is basically going to be like the play now style of takeover or if your CPU teammate gets takeover. It is immediately activated once your takeover bar fills. And for me, that kind of confirmed that team takeover is no longer a thing because obviously, how can you get team takeover if immediately once your bar fills up, that it automatically activates. So that's a W for certain people. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be an L for a lot of people. I kind of like the idea of team takeover when it came to my career. I never used it in pro-am or things like that when I did play walk-on, don't play it too much. But back to what I was saying with not knowing who's in front of you. Chat, explain to me how we gonna know who we're guarding. If you're in the park, how, how are you gonna know that this center that you in front of 
can't shoot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's going to be absolutely crazy, man. I really want to know, what do you guys think about this move? What do you guys think? Do you think that this is going to be broken? Do you think that 2K did a good job of balancing this stuff out, man? More news is to come. There's going to be more footage to come out, man, because obviously the people in Community Day couldn't tell us everything. 2K definitely put strict, strict rules up on those boys. I'm surprised this screenshot even came out. I'm going to keep it honest with y'all, man. So when the footage come out, Y'all definitely know I'm going to go ahead and grind and work and make sure the child boys get all of the footage. We are so close to 50K. I'm hoping that you guys definitely like this video up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Turn on those notifications so you can join the gang gang. Uh, that's all I got to say, man. I'm just here to inform y'all boys and to let y'all know about the new takeover in creation system. If there's any information that I got wrong in this video, please correct me. I am not saying that I got it right. It's a lot of people that didn't go to Community Day, and it's a lot of people out there at Community Day putting things out that they may possibly think is right, but in, in the grand scheme of things, it's wrong. So if I got anything wrong, make sure that y'all boys correct me. But um, we out.